Hey guys, this is Sonny. I figured we'd do um, a couple things today. So come along, join with me. Gonna make a couple of videos. First thing I wanted to do was actually um, get organized. Now, I have a lot that I need to get ready for my bead season honey to finish making up my actual journal for it and I have a lot of ephemera for it and one of the things I like to do is keep my ephemera in an actual pack like this um, I like it because it helps me keep it organized and it's kind of cute I like it because it's vintage it's eclectic allows me you know just to have I can pull pieces from it and yet it's my own little personal stash and my little personal style of it you know um gives me plenty of room to store stuff that I've created to use I got this pile here it's a big old stash of stuff stamped and scrapped there and there's a, a stack of stuff that's here you know then there's another stack that's in here so, and then there's another place on this side for stack. So, all of that then is this big old stack of stuff here that was inside of here. Because it actually has, again, these little places over here on this side. And it has this entire pocket all the way down this pocket here and then this small pocket here you know thing that's like more of a ticket size it's real good and sturdy though you can tell so i figured we could come along with me and we'd make one of these first and if you only said it's just a, a real nice collage piece that um you can create to your style see what you like and we'd create this together today so come on i'll put this over to the side and then let's see if i can get you adjusted just a tad bit more without throwing you off base bad it doesn't look crazy lopsided for some reason it looks so warped <clears throat> uh the first thing you're gonna need is four book pages uh, whatever size you want however big you want it to be you don't need four book pages uh, the reason being is because you want it to be uh, sturdy so two of them are going to be glued together for the back part and two for the front part so four book pages is what you're going to need you're going to need to get that so if you need to pause me to get them go right ahead once you get it together you're going to get the first two of them together place them together I have these front side I've already glued them together you know, this side and then you're gonna want it where you can fold your flap down I specifically have where my book page was blank up here you can do whichever way it depends on how you want your words to show if you wanted your words to show what you're gonna be like I said the right side then you would actually take and make sure this page was flipped the other way such as this page here I'm going to actually take it because it's going to lay on top of this about halfway down okay this page is going to be glued on it's going to flip these two pages are going to be glued together okay this is going to flip up and when it flips up I want to be able to see the words the right way up so let me do it the other way so you can actually see the words inside the bottom side does not have any words I'll show you if you want to be able to see the words say they're wrong side so in order to do that I would have to flip a page 
so that my words would actually so show up the right way. So flip your page where you can actually see the words the correct way on the other side. That's the good, good reason to have two pages as well. So that the other side would be opposite. You want them to face the exact same way. So you want them to be polar opposite so that the words, when you flip it, will show in line with if that's the way you want it to look. Now, if you're covering the entire area, it's not going to matter. Now, with the ones I have, I made sure that where I'm flipping up, it's not actually going to have words because I'm going to be stamping it and collaging over it, actually, so it's not going to matter. So I'm going to glue these two pages together. Okay, go ahead and glue yours. Now I just have a wet glue. A wet glue that um, is going to absorb so it's not going to be real bumpy. Sorry for the noise. I am completely out of my fabric tack and my other glues. So I do have some of my art glue glue. Just don't have it right at my hands at this moment. I'm line it up perfectly, Sonia, not all haphazardly. Now <clears throat> With these, I like, um, again, that vintage and old look. So, I have already taken my pages on this specific one, on this page. Let me burnish it a little bit more. Sorry if it's shaking the camera. I have already taken this page and torn it the way that I like it to be torn. If you'll see... specifically on this page right here, how it looks torn, this way that it's going to be, and then it's on the second page when it folds up, it's torn, it's torn over here, that's just how it looks, so I'm going to actually go ahead and tear it, and I'm going to get my actual um, ink to ink it up. And give me just a second to get my correct ink pads out if they haven't walked away. I'd be so upset if they did. Okay, I guess we'll do it this ink then. My other ones have walked away. Everywhere I go, my darling. on the other one, um, ones I've had. This is the ones I prefer to use. Just it's easier to use in general. I mean, it takes a whole lot less time. I can just run it through. I don't even have to do like a normal type. And I like to get really messy with it because I can go back over it then with this tool. It ages a great deal. Is that in the camera view? Of course not. It was at an angle. So that's why everything is zooming down.
I don't need too much, too, too much down here, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of whip. My edge is haphazardly, but still enough. Like um, these really heavy stress, I'm more like it's uh, burnt and aged. So when it rolls up, let me see how those edges end up being. I'm trying to find, kind of like looking in a mirror, going the opposite direction. And I'm just going to actually fold this up. It makes a good size pocket. And use the end of this tool. It's real good. Basically, it's a bone folder. But it's not bone. Burnishing tool, I should say. Get a little color through here age it up. I'm going to do the top ratchet right because I need to actually tear it through there. These make um, chalking so much easier. And then this tool just takes all that extra ink and just so nicely take that one put it right in here and we'll take our glue and take this time I'm thinking we'll take these our, um, score tape here I have been rough I'm gonna get them solder the solder score tape the solder usual not in the frame I apologize if I am not being loud enough either um, this is recorded directly after having my tooth pulled those that were in camp will know when that was um, and thank you to our lady and everything you know who you are and everything Miss, Mrs. L I appreciate you for letting me know that I was not speaking loud enough. Um, I appreciate that feedback. There's nothing wrong with constructive criticism. Everything in a loving way. I really appreciate that. Um, but I'm definitely not being any louder, I think, today. Um, any extra air is not helping today. <laughs> uh, that was one of the things that he had said was that... Um, you have the smallest mouth. I mean, there would be many a people who would debate that. Many a people. So, um, 
Again, everybody's laughing out there. Hush. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. And many of my friends, or all of my friends, would laugh too, so don't worry. Everybody would. You are not alone. I laughed at him too. Okay, that's on there. And then I'm just going to actually put the little glue, they glue this one on. That's there and that's there. I'm gonna actually straighten my leg out, which is probably gonna move the camera a tad. I'm hoping not too much. Maybe it helps some. I'm trying to see if I can get it to adjust some. Maybe. Okay, so that gets that part done. Now I'm gonna actually make it where we can fold it down. We know exactly where this needs to be here. Where we're going to decorate it at. Let's see if we can bring the meat in just a tad bit. Otherwise, how are we going to be able to see anything? So sorry. I'm going to get another tripod. You know, this one here does not work. Not work. Okay. So, <clears throat> we have this part ready then. We glued in here. We glued in. Oh, we actually got this thing, the um, score tape for this one. And have this part on. Um, to here. Now we need to get us something on the front. Um, one of the things I do like is having the, like I said, the little ticket piece up here. So I'm just going to reach over into my other little ephemera pack. Um, and I'll stick all my little pieces back in there just for organizational purposes and not losing anything. I just love love having it. 